Hi guys, welcome back. Um, as you can see, I have here the Derwent Lightfast 72 set. Um, this was an early birthday present. I got some money from my mother-in-law um, who gave me it a week early and I wasn't sure what to buy and I looked at things and looked at lots of pencils and saw lots of reviews on how good these were obviously I don't want them for the light fastness but I just saw lots of reviews of how well they laid down um, how nice the colours were um, so I thought and I went over to um, cult pens and they were 149 there which were cheaper than Amazon or anywhere else which wanted something like 199 or 200 pounds um so i thought well for 150 um i i quibbled about for about a week whether to get them or not and just thought go for it so that's what i did so this is one of my early birthday presents and i thought today what i would do was um i would swatch them all out um the picture from rain's pdf um book um, between light and dark the picture I showed you and said I couldn't tell you what I had done it with well it was done with these um, and I still haven't had to sharpen any of them and I did that whole picture with these um, so there you go that's how good they are right I haven't got my light on I hope you can see okay I will put the light on when I swatch them out so you can see the colours better right let's have a look so in there we go I'm going to put this so it doesn't fall down. Right, you get your little um, booklet, obviously, telling you about all the different colours and things and how light fast they are. Um, you get all that with them, which is great. And then you get your pencils, which are all wooden barrels. They have made in Britain. I went light fast and the colours on the name and their light fastness rating and then you get the colour on the end of your barrel um, so let's go ahead I've already ri written the names down um, and I thought we'd do some swatching out and see how we go so I mean I have used a few colours obviously in that um, one that I did the picture that I did so I thought well let's have a go at some swatching out and see how that how they come because I haven't tried all the colors okay the first one is called banana I hope you can see this okay because I have got my light over it's called banana and I'll just have to turn it this way a minute I hope you can see what I'm doing now this is very pigmented um, very pigmented as you can see which I hope you can it comes out to a gorgeous banana yellow colour um, liking that I hope you can see if you can't well I'll have to do this video again but that's good enough for me I don't usually do very big sort of swatch um, things so let's have a good sun yellow. This one is light fastness one. And this again is very pigmented. Again, I'm hardly, you know, it's coming out really bright yellow and I'm barely touching the paper. And um, you can also fade it away. Um, another great yellow. Not too much difference between the two. I think the banana is slightly sort of a darker yellow. Right, the next one we have is Champagne, which is Light Fastness 1 again. And I think I did use this one in the picture. But this is a really nice sort of creamy colour, if that's the right word. Obviously it's, it is Champagne colour, but it's sort of a very light creamy colour. And I think I might have used that in the skin. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you can see that one too, too well, because it is... A lot lighter but it's I think I used that on her skin I think that was a great one to use 
Um, the next one is Mustard Light Fastness 1. So again, great pigment colour coming out on this. Hardly touching it, I'm not, you know, pressing hard or anything like that. And that one's called Mustard. And that's another great yellow colour. Okay, the next one is called Amber Gold. That's Light Fastness 1. And my daughter's name is Amber. Um, so that's a lovely amber colour. Which comes out, yep. I mean, all of them I'm not pressing hard at all. And they're so pigmented in the colour. Um, I'm really, really liking these. And so when I did the first picture of Between Light and Dark, I mean, they come out. I mean, I wasn't sure obviously new pencils what colors would be good for skin etc um i just sort of know what colors i use in other sets and i just sort of thought well i'll try and pick out similar colors here and that's all i did and i was you know well pleased with how it turned out this one is called flame and that's light fastness one and this is going to be a lovely orangey colour, which is, again, I'm not pressing hard at all. You know, I mean, just go over the same bit a few times, you know, very lightly. Um, and then go over the other bits, not so many times. Um, but, yeah, lovely orange colour, that one. So, yellows and oranges are my least favourite colours. I don't use them very often um, but when I do you know it's nice to have a really really nice one right the next one is called Derwent Red and that's Light Fastness 1 so some of these obviously as, as you know I've only done one picture some of these I've never ever you know used them at all so this is a surprise to me as well you know what colours they're actually coming out on on paper so that's gorgeous red okay the next one we've got is called strawberry and that's like fastness one as well um, you find if you just you know lightly over the same if you want it darker you just go over the same spot a few times um, but yeah this is a great sort of reddish strawberry more the sort of I don't know it's but I mean compared to that red it's sort of between orange and red but it is sort of a strawberry colour so yeah it's really good I'm liking these next one is called scarlet and that's light fastness one and again I'm just you know using it very lightly again and I've got drop dead red kids <laughs> sending me all over the place but never mind we get there that's not too far off that one but not a, too much difference between the two but you can just see that that one I think is slightly darker than the strawberry one okay the next one we have is called cherry red and that's light fastness one and I hope you can see what I'm doing and I hope you can see the colours I hope anyway so if not I'll have to do the video again but let's keep our fingers crossed and see what it comes out like that's a really nice dark sort of cherry red that one the next one we have is called Merlot and that's light fastness one as well and that's a sort of really nice rich burgundy colour red wine burgundy sort of colour and you'd say with, it, with any of these you don't need to you know have hard pressure at all just very light and if you want it darker you just go over the same bit you know more times so there's that one and then we have flesh pink which is light fastness one as well now, i don't know if you're going to see this color 
because it is very 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 pale a bit like the sort of champagne color it is very very pale so I don't know if this will show up and I can't unfortunately bring it up to my camera because it'll just blow you won't see anything so I'm just hoping that that you know if I press a little bit harder and make it a little bit darker maybe that you will be able to see it and it's very very pale but it is a, it is a flash skin type colour the next one is salmon and that's like fastness one again oh, I've gone over the same one see because I couldn't see it right salmon now this is a to me this is a more um this is a more fleshy color to me the salmon than what the flesh pink is the flesh pink you could use as your first layer just a thin coat um to layer up on so i would use the flesh pink you know very lightly all over um, and then I would probably use this salmon, I would think, to sort of blend in at the end and to maybe, you know, have a little bit showing um, before the white areas or whatever, your shading, you know, wherever you want your light bits to go. Um, so that one is a more sort of fl fleshy pink, really, I would say, but it's called salmon. Uh, that one's good as well. And then we have dusky pink, like Plasmus one, which we're getting a bit darker now. So I don't think there's actually any pinks as such, like pink pinks. I don't think in here, but they have provided a lot of the flesh tones that you would need to do skin. See, dusky pink. That's another one that you could very easily use for a skin tone so i mean all three of them the flesh pink salmon and the dusky pink you could use as sort of skin tones because i mean it's done very lightly it is i mean i'm trying to make it darker so you can see it but i mean you could use all three of them in a skin tone which which would work well but i say if you're doing a whole picture and you want to use pink there isn't actually any pink pinks as such, if you know what I mean. And this one's going to be even lighter. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this one at all. This one's called Oyster. And it's very, very pale. Very, very pale. Um, pinky sort of colour. More, more sort of like the champagne and the flesh pink very very pale so you could use it as a blending tone or you could actually use it just as an under as a base coat um for skins or anything but that is very very i mean you can't i can hardly see that on the paper so i mean i'm i'm sure you can't um from where my camera is and i'm really sorry about that um but that's just how it is i mean i can barely see that but that would be a good blending one then we get to deep rose, which is like fastness one, and we go back to a bit more darkness. And this is a really, really nice deep burgundy colour. Um, again, sort of more purpley than the Merlot, um, but a really, really nice deep burgundy colour. So, yeah, hope you can see that one. That's a really lovely colour. And then we go to purple, light fastness one. As I say, I mean, I've used them on that picture um, that I did. That's all I've used. I haven't swatched or used any of the others at all. And I didn't need to sharpen. I did the whole picture and I didn't need to sharpen any of them. They're all, you know, as they were. Um, which is really good. I love hard pencils because they, you know, even even going lightly, they still do wear down. But the less you have to sharpen them, the better it is for, you know, or I think it is anyway, the better it is for me because I've got the electric one, but a lot of them, like um, the luminance, don't fit in. So, I, you know, it's got to be done by hand. Um, and 
um, that's how they job because <laughs> after a few of them it does start making my hands hurt so but there you go so it's great that these don't need sharpening very often you know I, I I don't know any other pencil that I've done a whole picture and not had to sharpen a pencil once um, which I thought was really really good um, which just shows you you know how good they actually are um, Mars Violet is the next one that's light fastness one now what's this one this is another this is another purpley tone toned one um, not as deep it's got a sort of I would say sort of hint of brownie in it it's sort of a brownie violet -y colour um, it's an unusual colour but yeah sort of a brownie violet -y colour but that's called Mars Violet let me go into the more purpley tones Come here. You find that they jump into the wrong holes. This one's called Heather and that's light fastness one. Now this looks like a really nice it is, yeah. Really nice pale lilac y colour. It's just a shame that they didn't add some more pinks, more pinky ones. But this this heather one, although it's a sort of um it is heather colour, um you could actually use that, it's sort of pinky, lilac-y colour. So I mean you could actually use this as a pinky colour because there aren't any pinks. I mean that would go for that. Right, then we have Lav Wild Lavender, which is Light Fastness 1 again. Um, most of these seem to be Light Fastness 1. Um, I was really surprised. I've never actually bought anything from Cult Pens before, and I was just doing a Google search on them and looking at prices and things, and I couldn't believe how much cheaper they were than anywhere else. And they also do free next day delivery. So I ordered them one day, and they came the next day, um, and which I thought was really, really good. Um, I know they are in UK as well, so. You know, I expected them to come the next day, um, but the service, I couldn't fault them and the packaging and they were just brilliant, you know, and I was very, very pleased. Um, so that's Wild Lavender. Then we have Nightshade, which is Light Fantas one again. Now this is a, I thought this was going to be like a bl deep blue, but it looks as if it's actually sort of um like a really deep purple which is nice i like purples so that's good um i mean these these swatches i'll keep in the tin because i haven't actually got a case for these at the minute so they will you know these swatches i, I mean i do have them in all my cases but this will stay in the tin till i get a case this one's violet and light fastness one and again, another really deep purple. Not as deep as the nightshade. Um, but you can see how they've put them in the box, like most companies, um, when you get pencils. They do say that if you want like a light, a dark and a mid-tone, what the companies seem to do, and it seems to be working out really, is they will put pencils together that go together. So, I mean, you could use the violet as your mid-tone, nightshade as your dark tone, and wild lavender as your light tone. So, yeah, I mean, they would be great colours together. Next one is blue violet. So, let's see what this one's like. So, this is a darker than the violet, but not quite as dark as the nightshade. Slight different tone to it. You know with the bluey hint to it as well um but yeah do them three uh, also would go together then we go on to mid ultramarine which is light fast one which is a very sort of pale blue um i think that's the lightest blue there is 
really nice colour blue. Um, yeah, there's quite a few blues by the looks of it, but this looks to be the lightest one. And that's light plus one as well. Um, and I'm just hoping that the camera is picking up these colours, I really do hope. It's probably not going to be brilliant, but that's not all I can do. Hello! Deep blue. What do you want? Yeah, it's out, it's got a fly in it. I am filming. <coughs> you asked what I wanted. I've got to just wash my husband's glass, glass out. Man. Because it has a fly in it, apparently. Ah, I'm in the middle of filming, honestly. Thank you. There you go. One flyless glass. Right, where were we? Right. Deep blue, light fastness one. Right, let's try this one. This is a nice mid tone blue, which would go great with the light blue, with the mid tone to it. And I'm assuming the next one is going to be the darkest one. That's that one. And this one is sapphire with light fastness one and this I'm assuming would be darker no it's actually quite lighter actually so yeah that would be your dark one the deep blue would be a dark one um sapphire could be your medium and ultramarine could be your light one so yeah I mean they all seem to be next to each other the ones that work together um, all companies seem to do that, which I think is great, and that's why I keep them in that order. Next one is Denim Light Fastness 1. Right, let me just see if I can hold my page down. That's a nice mid blue, so you could do that one, that one, and that one. Or let's see what we've got coming after that one. Right, there we go. Denim, yeah, that's quite a denim blue actually. Right, this one is mid blue. Let's see. Another quite nice colour. Am I just putting shot here? Yes, I don't want to be colouring out with shots so you can't see what I'm doing. Um, it's not actually too hot here today, which is good. Um, because I find being under this light really does make me quite hot um, and it's been, last week was horrendous, it was like a hundred um, here and oh, it was absolutely ridiculous, I think it was, you know, we had one of the hottest days that, you know, Britain had seen and oh, we just didn't know what to do with ourselves, it was ridiculous. So mid blue, yeah, that's a nice, that would go well with the denim. So, yep, the one they put next to each other. Then we come across Midnight Blue with Light Fastness 1. Alright, this is a nice deep sort of dark sky blue, I would sort of say that one is. Um, these are lovely to use, they, I mean they're, they're smooth and creamy. Um, but they're hard enough not to wear down, which I've not found any other pencil that has been that good yet, so I am impressed. This one is Arctic Light Fastness 1. Now, this looks very, very pale again, so don't think you're actually going to see this one. But it's like a very, very pale grey. Um, sort of the palest grey that, that there is, basically. If you think of other pencil sets and the lightest grey, um, you really, but it's got a sort of bluey hint to it as well. Um, I suppose it does come in the blues, but it looks like a very pale grey. I mean, the more I'm going over it, the more I can sort of see the colour, but it's barely there, barely there at all. I mean, even if I go sort of a bit harder with it. I don't know if you can see that, it's barely showing. It's a really, really, really sort of ice blue, um, very, very pale. 
then we have I'm putting all these in the wrong holes if they there. Um, dark indigo, light fastness one. See, I nearly went over the Arctic. Is that pale? But you can barely see it. And then we have the dark indigo, which is very, very dark blue. Um, that's really, really dark. I mean, if you wanted to do like a really black sky. Um, I was wondering that would be brilliant that one I thought, I thought that one when I did it but now after I've seen this one this one would be great for a dark sky um, dark indigo that one is ok moving on we have ocean blue dark um, right ocean blue and this one is this one's very dark as well and it says dark, ocean blue dark on it, but it's more of a greeny blue, turquoise hint to it. It is blue, but there is a very sort of turquoise hint to that one. So that would be great if you were doing a dark undersea sort of scene. Dark turquoise is the next one, and obviously that would go with that one because that has got a hint of the sea green turquoisey in it. So again, you know, the ones next to each other would go great together. So that's a really nice dark turquoise. This one, and this one is very light. Again, I don't know if you're going to see this one light aqua. Um, I don't know if this one will show up or not. I'll try and go a bit harder and go a bit more over. So you can maybe pick it up. But it's a very, very... It is an aqua, light aqua. It is like a turquoise aqua. But very, very pale. Again. Right. And the next one is turquoise green oh that's a really nice turquoise green I do like turquoise green I think it's a great colour I love it with pinks and purples and I think it goes great with them I have used it quite a lot lately in pictures um, you know that go that with green and the pink or the purple and they really do look great together them colours yep I like that one and the last one in this one is mallard green and then we'll have to get the next tray out that's a really nice dark mallard green yep I like that see them three would go lovely together if you were using the three colours um, the light, medium, the dark I mean, sometimes I add other colours as well, not just them three, but them three would go really, really well together. Um, they are absolutely beautiful. Right, we'll pop that sheet on top of there. And we'll go to the next tray. Which is underneath, and I'll get the new sheet out. And the first one is... It's called Vivid Green, and that's Light Fastness 1. Oh, this is a really nice green. It's a sort of, it is a bright green, um, sort of grassy colour green, but very bright. So, I hope, you can, I hope that you can see these colours okay, because these are such lovely pencils and... I just, you know, hope that it's picking it up. I hope the light is picking it up enough. Um, no, I didn't want to change the colour, not really, did I? I think it was okay where it was. Or is it better like that? I don't know. No, we'll just stay like that. Let's hope that you can see. That is a really nice... Try and make it the boxes a bit bigger you might be able to see it a bit better but that's a really nice green righty ho next one is 
Luxe Brisk Green Light Fastness one. That's a nice sort of dark olivey sort of green. I hope, you, hope it's picking it up okay. Yeah, it's a nice sort of darkish olivey type green, which I do like. I do like lots of greens because like when you come to do, if you've got a picture that's got lots of leaves and lots of trees and things, um, you don't always want to do them all exactly the same colour. And if you're limited on your green colours, then, um, you know, it's sort of, it, it looks a lot nicer if you've got lots of different shades of green that you can do them in. Um, and it makes the picture, it makes a big difference because if you look out at some trees or anything, the colours of trees are never all the same, they're all different. Um, so it's great, this one's called Pine. It's great if you can do them all different colours, um, but if you're limited to only a few greens then um, it can do it, but you know, it doesn't come out quite as nice. I do like a, a nice variety of green colours which this does have and that's another that is definitely a pine green that one a nice deep pine green right the next one we've got is called racing green and that's light fastness one and again with with all of these you don't have to press hard at all um and the colour just flows out of them and they just don't seem to wear down at all um i've not found any even the polys you know which are quite hard um these are creamy and they're not they don't feel particularly hard but they just last forever i mean i'm not pressing hard but you, you just you don't have to sharpen them it's just i'm amazed i really am amazed um i've never found a you know this very similar to the pine one that one but still a nice color i just am amazed at you know how well they work and that you can do a whole picture i've never done a whole picture and not have to sharpen one of the pencils right grass green um so these are really really good i mean the color just flows out of them i mean you can see i'm not pressing hard at all on them and um, you don't need to the color just comes out you know without you doing that and if you want it a bit darker just go over it a few times look as i'm doing here you can see lightly over it a few times will make it darker than than that bit so you know that's all you need to do but yeah that's definitely a grass green that one i like that all right Grass green, oh that's grass green again, a oh, grass green 70%. So, oh yeah, that's a nice pigmented colour. Very pale grass green, very different to that one, but they would work really well together. So, yeah. I'm really, really liking the colours in this. I do, I do wish they had some pinks, because I do like my pinks, but... You know, I, I can live with that. I can live with that. The other colours are really, really nice. So, next we have Ferrilage Light Fastness 1. Oh, that's a nice sort of light olivey colour. I'm trying to sort of go over a few times and make it dark, so hopefully, but it'll pick it up and you can see you know what the colour is, you can see what I'm doing and that's the plan anyway um, I haven't been about much lately I know there's been so much going on here um, Tim's been away for a week um, visiting his family in Leeds um, so there was just me and Zach here Zach's been having a really bad time of it lately and trying to uh, kill himself several times and I, I i would just basically i was 
I was just so drained. This one is called Forest, that's Light Fast and Swim. Um, so drained basically with it all. Um, you know, and it's just so hard to deal with on a daily basis, really is. Um, and it just drags me down. This is so dark. This is a really, really dark green. Like a deep, dark forest. It's a nice colour. Just hoping it's in, you can see it properly. But it's, yeah, good that one. And we have Olive Earth. So yeah, I haven't been about at all much. Um, I've been colouring when I can in between the outbursts and things going on um, it's like you just you don't feel like talking to anybody or doing anything much um, it's just not easy it's just been so much it's just crazy that's the olive earth yes that's a nice olivey dark olive green colour and then we've got seaweed, like fastness one. Let's see. This is a nice sort of dark. It's very similar to the olive earth, but a little bit more. Um, I don't know. It's not as green. It's darker than the olive earth. Maybe not quite as green. Maybe like a hint of brown or something in that one so slightly darker all right then we've got light bronze that's light fastness one. Oh, this is nice nice sort of bronzy goldy sort of color yeah definitely like a sort of goldy bronzy colour yeah that's quite a nice colour that I'm just hoping that you can all see the colours properly if not I'll have to film it again and I'll have to do it with my small tripod but hopefully this will suffice let's hope right next is brown ochre that's light fastness one. Oh, that's a nice colour as well. That's a nice oakery goldy colour. Yep, I like them. I've got a drop dead thread today. It keeps sort of jogging my hand and I can't do it. <laughs> I'm all shaky, it's ridiculous. Oh my god, that's a really nice colour. It's more of a sort of orangey, browny, goldy colour. Yellow ochre next, light fastness one. And this is more sort of yellowy, yellowy, goldy. They'd be great together, them colours, if you were trying to coloured gold or something for instance then three colours would look quite nice together I think they would anyway that's just me you might think oh no they don't go together but I think they do so there next we have wheat light fastness one I have to laugh sometimes or I'd cry but there you go that's my life Zach's supposed to be moving out anyway um, he's on the housing list to get his own place. How that's going to work, I do not know. But we will see. And he went to Norwich Pride, Gay Pride, on Saturday. And he thoroughly enjoyed himself. Went on his own, made some new friends. And he's now joined a Facebook group. Um, and he's hoping to make some more gay friends. So that's, things are good, they're looking up. Um, his sort of best friend in Croma has blown him out again, which is why we've had all the tantrums and suicide. Wheat, 
Now that's a very, very pale, um, very pale, sort of yellowy, browny, but yeah, sort of wheaty colour. All right, the next one is, let's have a look, sandstone, light fastness one. Let's see if we can see that, let's hope. Oh, that's a nice sort of tanny, sort of, yeah, like a tan sort of colour. So yeah, so his friend blew him out and we've had all the tantrums and suicides and the police again and oh, it's just ongoing drama basically. Um, but yeah, he's a bit happier now that he's been to Gay Pride, he's met some new friends and um, so yeah, hopefully things are going to be looking up but they seem to get better but then they seem to get bad again so we'll see. Sandstone, yeah, I like that. That's a really nice colour. Right, what's this one? Persian orange. So that's very similar to the sandstone. But it's not as dark. The pigment's not coming out as dark as it did on the sandstone. So but yeah, it's still a nice colour. That would go lovely if that was the darkest one, maybe. Or even you could go with the wheat and the sandstone and the Persian orange. See, I mean, all of these, you know, would go together. So that's really good, really nice. Burnt sienna. I, I do like the siennas um, and the ochres, um, especially for skin. Um, I will tell you when I show you the completed pictures that I've done, what colours I actually used. Um, for the skin or whatever if you want me to, want to know I can soon let you know on that um, but I do use a lot of siennas and oranges ochres they're sort of browny oranges I do use a lot of in skin um, I didn't used to but I've sort of been playing around with colours and, and things and yeah I do like them for skin they do seem to bring it out really really nice all right it's this one it's mars orange so let's see again that's sort of in the same family as the last three which is sort of orangey browny tanny sort of color so that would be another one, great one that I would use for skin. Um, so when I did the picture, I um, I just sort of, I, I hadn't tested any of these out or swatched them at all. I just looked at the colours and just picked up, you know, the type of colours that I would normally use in, in other pencils. Um, and I thought it didn't come out too bad. I mean, I probably will mix it around now I've got the um, swatch chart of them. I probably will mix it around with different colours. This one's Sienna. I probably will mix it around. And um, 